Good night, Will. This is Ivan Omera. It's going to be another very interesting video. I just came back from my long walk. I was supposed to work today at Dinty's, but the manager gave me today off, and I work Sunday, a double shift on Sunday instead. And I get tomorrow off. That's why I'm like, yeah, fine. I'll take today off, and I'll work Sunday in the night shift after Coco Fui on this Sunday. Some Sarah. Yeah, I have two beers left. So I'm going to enjoy the show with you guys after this. Huh? Then I'm going to go to bed and sleep. Tomorrow I'm going to clean my room. My room's a mess. Man. How bad of a mess is Ivan? It's a mess. What you see here is only a glimpse of it. There's like literally like 200 cans like right here on the floor. Everything. It's a mess. Wash my bed sheets, my pillow sheets, my pillow covers. Um, put all the cans in the bag, organize my area where my books are a little bit, and clean it. I might have a different setup, maybe, I don't know. Tomorrow I'm going to clean my room. My room's a mess. So I hope you guys enjoy my video I made the past couple of days. Very enjoys why you still can, right? Because once I'm hanging, I'm not making videos on my side of my channel. I'm going to forget about the channel, guys. That's what you need to understand. I'm sorry. I'm going to forget about this channel. You took your walk, Ivan? Yeah, I just got back from my walk. Took my nice one hour walk. I've been walking like every day for the past. Since this Monday, I think I only took one day off. No, I walk every day since Monday, man. Five days straight I walked. But my eating has been not bad. Like today I had four hot dogs. I was fucking hungry. I went to Snack Shack and I had four hot dogs with Diet Pepsi. But I caved in today. But I mean, tomorrow I'm going to eat the healthier food. And I'm going to do my walk again. I'm going to do my walk again on Sunday. I'm going to do my best to go seven days a week. Like I did nine, ten years ago. Nine and a half years ago when I went on the treadmill. Five days a week. Uh, seven days a week. And I lost 50 pounds. I went from 280 to 230, 229. That's why in that Love Correctly short film that I did, you saw how I looked pretty skinny there? That's me at 235 around there. Whereas 194, I'm like super skinny. Not like anorexic skinny, but I'm skinny. And I, I, I now see my muscle and everything, yeah. So I'm sorry, because I'm really motivated to lose this weight. I want to get my girlfriend badly. I don't want to date a girl when I'm fat, man. I want to date a girl when I'm in shape. I'm not ashamed to take off my shirt anymore. You know what I'm saying? And trust me, Ivan, you will get one of those chicks when you lose the weight. But the younger chick, I told you, she has a boyfriend. I overheard her talking to one of the waitresses. She has a boyfriend. Yeah, I, I, I saw her with some guy like twice. I mean, I think that might be your boyfriend. She has a boyfriend, so she's off limits. I'm not going to go for a girl who has a boyfriend. So I'm saying, I'm not going to go for a girl who has a boyfriend. Whereas the redhead that does not have a boyfriend. And the chick at Diddy's, I believe she doesn't have a boyfriend either. You see what I'm saying? you want to get one, down to 194? Yes. I won't get to 194 by the end of the year. No. Realistically speaking, 240. That's doable. Whereas, um... 194 is like next summer, next April, next May 2025, I lose the weight. I lose all the I go all the way, I lose all the weight. Yeah. I lose all that weight, yeah, man. So sad. What if you're saying to other Zima's Ivan? Mean, she's a hypocrite. I'm going to ignore her, man. She had her moments with Pearson, Reeve. Ryan Rotman, you had your boyfriends, you had your moments, I'm going to get my moments too. There you go. And if you're demonized, that's tough, man. It's too bad, man. I cried those tears, you keep banging my hands on. I'm not going to let show you pity, man, when you cry. Because you're a crazy woman, you want your full cake, yeah. What's the one way you won't go for a uh, girlfriend, Ivan? My significant other has to stop bagging the guys. And stop dating guys. She has to stop. As long as you, you continue batting them, I'm gonna get my girlfriend. Man. That's how it works. There you go. 
But she's gonna because she doesn't want me touching one chick, she's gonna lie. I don't want to see anyone. I'm like, no, I know you are. I hear you moaning. You think I'm stupid? Every day I hear some woman in my heart pounding, some woman moaning, man. I'm not stupid, man. I don't know who she's banging, but I know she's banging someone. Because I hear sometimes, sometimes I just sit down. I'm on break. I eat my, 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 my lunch, obviously, right? And I watch my YouTube videos on my phone when I'm on break all the time, right? And, like, sometimes I just hear, I, 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 I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, I'm there, I'm still, and I hear, like, my heart pounding. And barely, barely I hear this woman, ah, uh, she's moaning. And I know it's her, obviously. She's connected to me because she's my spirit. I know it's her. You think I'm stupid? I'm not fucking stupid, man. Cardo, you want to act like you're innocent. You're not innocent, man. You're guilty and you're a cheating whore. I'm not going to do like that. Samsara? I'm not going to let you do like that, Samsara. Yeah. Wow, you're actually serious with your walks. Yeah, man, I'm serious now. I, I've been going like every day for the since the, for the past ten days. I think I went like eight times. I go. I, I take my walk every day. But I know. I know the reason why I was I, I was slacking off before because I I, I wanted to go I, before. I always aim to go at nighttime around like 11, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. If you do that, your chances are you're not going to go because you you get tired and you want to sleep. And I ended up skipping all the days. Okay. What if I go at 7 or 8 or 9, a bit earlier, and now I go earlier at 7, 8, 9, and I'm more motivated to, to walk. Whereas after 10, 11 o'clock, you get tired, you don't feel like walking anymore. That's why I stopped. I stopped the late, late night walks, and now I walk like around 8, 7, or 9. Today I walked at 9.30. I just got back. I got back home, I don't know, like 10 minutes ago, I got back home. Four laps around the block. I do like a circle. It's like a one hour walk. Up my street. And I go where Vivalje is. I sh remember, the, remember the video show my face? I, I, I logged to Vivalje Park. There's a, there's a road there. I, I go like down that road next to the park. And I keep going and it goes in a circle. And I go right, right back up. Do my own the street opposite of mine. And I go up and do a circle again. So like here's my house, and then there's another street here, Duvalon, and that I go up there, and it circles into another street that leads to Fervelge Park, which is right here. I keep going straight, and I go, I do a circle, and I go back up again. It's like four times. It's like one hour, one hour walk. It takes about fifteen minutes to go around to do the circle around the block near my house. So instead of me walking like somewhere long all the way to the marina, that takes 30 minutes and there back an hour. You're more motivated if you're, if you're walking near your house. See, if I were to walk to the marina, I wouldn't be motivated to go for the walk because it's so far away. So instead, I do like laps, four laps around near my my house. Now when I'm done walking, it's like a three-minute walk to my house. It's more convenient for me. Sarah? Yeah. Almost 11 o'clock, guys. It's fucking late. I have this I'm going to take a nice hot shower. Yeah. I'll wash show you guys with my two beers. I'm going to go to bed. And stay tuned tomorrow. I'll most likely make a video when I wake up. I'm either showing my face or listening to this. I don't know. Maybe show my face, I don't know. I'm gonna clean my room. Do a thorough cleaning, like move the bed, sweep it, mop it with bleach. Not bleach, uh, chemical. I you mop your room. Yeah, I do. I, I sweep it and I mop it too with chemical. And I always, I always wash all my bed sheets. My pillow call my, my my pillow uh covers. Yeah. Sir. This week I should get my new phone. My, my I should get my stepdad to put the new SIM card in my new phone, and you're, you're gonna get you're, you're finally gonna get better quality in my videos. It's a phone I uh, got in a 2024 Samsung. This is 2018. It's older.
Yeah, the younger chick has a boyfriend. I fucking knew it, man. And I remember she hung out with him like twice at Hoko Fuji. I'm like, is that your boyfriend? I was, I was curious. And she said, I overheard her talking. She has a boyfriend. I said, I'm not going for her. I'm not going to go for a girl who has a boyfriend. That's fucking evil. I'm not going to try to take someone else's girl. That's evil, man. It's an evil thing to do. But most men and women don't care if the guy's in a relationship. They want the guy and want the woman. They're going to go for it. And they're going to take their shot. It's competition. Most people don't care if the guy is in a relationship or not. They, if the guy's hot, the woman's hot, they go for them anyways. Because I'm not like that. I mean, you're such a bullshit. You're like, you're, you're going for a girl when you know you're married. Yeah, but, but there's context, obviously. For my situation, it's a different story. You're, you guys are going to turn me into points. I might as well get a girlfriend. Otherwise, I never would have touched one chick. I would have saved my virginity for my significant other. I know the rules are going to turn me into points, and there's no point in me saving my virginity. Because you guys want to see me have sex so bad, you're fucking crazy or evil. Damn it. Like, I don't care about seeing someone have sex, man. I, I, I can care less. You guys want to see me have sex, you're fucking crazy or evil, man. Yeah. You want to cause harm in my significant other's life, too, obviously, because you're wicked people. Center. Tomorrow's the Stanley Cup. I'm gonna watch that. Yeah, so tomorrow I'll take my walk around maybe 6.50 early. And when I come home, I'm gonna get a beer and I'm gonna watch uh, the Stanley Cup. Edmonton versus Florida Panthers. I'm rooting for McDavid. Hopefully he gets the Stanley Cup. But something tells me the Panthers are gonna win. Because I heard they were they're, they're, they're a really, really good team this year. And the American teams just always have the edge over the Canadian teams. The Vancouver Canucks, the Ottawa Senators, they 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 were in a few Stanley Cups the past couple of years, and they couldn't beat the American teams because the quota d d does not allow for the Canadian team to win. I mean, why are the Canadian teams not as good? Because most of the star, most of the best players are on the American teams. The Canadian players, most of the best like Canadian hockey players are on the American teams. That's why the American teams are better. Than the Canadian teams in the NHL. I'm sorry, but I'm 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 very proud of Edmonton, man. They fucking made the Stanley Cup, man. I just hope to God they win it, but I, somebody tells me they're not going to win it. I hope they win, but somebody tells me the Panthers are going to take the cake, man. It's just a good feeling to have, you know, because the American teams always beat the Canadian teams in the NHL. It's just how it works, man. Yeah, obviously. I hope they win, man, because Amazon might not get an opportunity like this ever again, right? Being in the Stanley Cup, so I hope they win it this year, but I mean, they're going to make history if they win. And all McDavid needs is one, one cup, and that's good enough. He was on a Canadian team, and he has one cup, one ring. That's, that's good enough. Hall of Famer, man. Yeah, man. He made history. The last, uh, I'm sidetracking, the last time an NHL team won... The Stanley Cup was 1993. That was 31 years ago. I believe it was Montreal. And in 1992, when I was born, it was Calgary who won. I saw both games at the hospital. I saw the final uh, the final game. And then when Montreal won in 1993, I saw that game at the hospital. It was a good game. I also saw the Calgary game. That's the last time a Canadian team won. Back in the 80s and 90s, Canadian teams were winning like Stanley Cups quite a lot of times, but now it's all the American teams. It's only the American teams that win. I don't know, man. It's weird. But yeah. So best of luck to the Oilers. I hope they win it. Yeah. Who knows? They might win it. They might make history. We'll see what happens, right? Yeah. I'm sidetracking here. Yeah.
Your girlfriend will beg. I've been, yeah, she's gonna beg her ass off. Well, I've been, please don't leave me. I'm saying she wants to run off with me, but that would not let me out. Duh. She knows I'm gonna take it out of the average life. I have no marriage to take it out of the average life to making your 100 plus thousand a year. So everyone who works for my company gets 100 plus thousand a year. I'm not paying them less than that. They, 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 they. Well, the photographers and them get 50k for the first three years, but they're part time. Making 50k for part time work is a lot of money. That's good part time money to make. So the photographers and all them and web designers and all them will be working part time for my company for Zanus for the first three years. Five ad shoots for year one, year two, year three, and fourth year when production starts, I need you full time. And they get their rich 150, 200k a year. That's that's how much they make in Hollywood around there, right? You're gonna have to work this out with your bosses in Hollywood. Fourth year, you're, you're in the contract. You have to be full time with, with me for my movie. Which they they're gonna want to work full time for me because they'd rather work for me than work in Hollywood. They don't want to be left behind. My company's burn Hollywood. I'm sorry. The very reason why my Zinnada cries is the very reason, is also the very reason why my girlfriend's on a bag. Because she wants to live that multi minute life with me, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if I can, like, run away with Ivan and live with him for, like, 20, 25 years. You know what I'm saying? How long do you date your girlfriend for if you ran off with her? Like, 20, 25 years. Depending on how young she is. If she's like 20, then 20, I don't know, 25 years. Once she gets 45, you're done. I'm moving on. She's going to start aging, obviously. Yeah. I have nothing against older women. Like, there's a lot of women who are even 50 who are still smoking hot. But they're, 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 even though they're hot, they're, they're past their prime. That's my point. They're no longer in their prime, these men. Whereas men, when they're 40, 50, they're still good, man. Whereas women, when they hit 50... 40, it's not bad, pretty good. And once they hit 50, it's like they start to really, really age and they're, 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 they're hot, but they're like, they're past their prime. That's my point. Some Sarah? You see, you see a huge difference. That's my point. In other words, I'm not going to be with you to, until you're grandma. It's not going to happen. If you think I'm going to date an 80 year old woman, you're fucking crazy. No. <laughs> okay. I'm not, you're not going to, I'm not going to be with you until you're 80. No. Once you hit 45 around there, I'm going to end it. I'm not moving on to another chip. Hypothetically speaking, I'm going to run off, which is not going to happen. I'm saying, with my girlfriend. Well, oh, Ivan, please don't leave me. I'm, saying, I'm like, I'm sorry, man. I'm not going to do it, man. I'm not choosing the trash or the fresh. Smoking hot, young forever, going booty, no fucking way. No way. And missing out on those genetic perks? Come on, man. My snippet are his blues, but triggers the perks. And my green is what triggers the perks for her, too. We both have to link to, to both get the perks. And that's how you know we're only meant for each other. Obviously, because she has the same nature as me. We're both God. Just different, um, different functions, obviously. Like the training. I am one with my sin other. That's why oh, I'm married to her. Marriage means becoming one. Marriage pretty much means two, be two people becoming one. That's so why my sin other is my wife because she's my spirit. And we have the same nature. We're one. But we have different functions. I'm the source. She's a spirit of the source. I'm God. She's a spirit of God. Making both of us divine. Making both of us God. Obviously. She's a goddess. I'm God. I'm Sarah. And she's blue. She has blue blood. I have green blood. And her blue is what triggers the, 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 the glowing beauty, all that stuff. Ivan, what do you think triggers glowing beauty? Uh, us linking. That's what triggers it. Yeah. Duh. I mean, uh, what, what other way would trip? What, what, what other way would trigger it? It's us linking together. So as soon as I hook up with her for the first time, you know what I'm saying? A couple days later, like I, I we wake up and she, 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 she I even like look at her eyes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She, our eyes are glowing. Like holy shit, it's like glowing brown. I even look at our skin, look at our hair. You know what I'm saying? 
And then, like, ten years go by, and I know she, she, she has an age a day. I haven't aged a day in ten years. Yeah. Listen, Sarah. That was me and my sin and other. When we get to glowing beauty, we get glorified bodies. Like, Jesus has a new body. Well, when he resurrects from, from, death, from, from death, right? He has a brand new, immortal, uncorruptible body. Similar to me. This Ivan you see now is not is not the same Ivan. It's a veiled version of Ivan. My sin and other is a veiled version of herself, too. And once we get to glowing beauty, that's the real us. That's the, uh, the updated look. The uncorruptible, immortal body. That's why I said something on Virginia's. The Ivan you got was veiled. And then my sin and other that you got was veiled, too. I said only on my fucking genius, yeah. Yeah, the Ivan who we made pay is doesn't look doesn't look like the the, the updated look Ivan when he's king with the glowing beauty and all stuff, the full bone beard. And it's new and other it looks upgraded, it looks hotter, much hotter, yeah. It looks hotter. Ivan looks hotter. I said only on my genius, yeah. That's why I'm not choosing my girlfriend over my son. I'm not doing that, man. No fucking way. You're not meant for me, man. I had a nice, like, I don't know, five years with you, but that's it. Obviously. Because she knows I can easily pay her, like, 250k a year as my assistant worker for my company. With that money, you can get a nice car. You live in my condo. I won't charge you anywhere. I don't need your money. You live rent-free in my condo. You get to buy yourself a nice car. Buy a nice clothes. I'll buy you clothes sometimes, obviously. Take you out to dinner, go to clubs. Awesome. She wants to do all that with me. Fly on my private jet, stay at the best suites in the world. She wants to do all that with me. Yeah, my girlfriend. Some Sarah. That's why she's gonna pay. Ivan, you have no idea what price you're paying. You're know, there's a bitch, Ivan. She's a fucking bitch, man. You don't, you don't want to be with her. I'm like, I know, but like, it's, it's your. It's ultimately speaking, it's your, you guys' fault, man. Had you not separated me from this, that's not what have happened. Some Sarah. So don't play that game with me. Like, had you not separated her, she wouldn't be this bitch, and she wouldn't be a cheating whore, and the mess that would have happened. As long as she's with me, she's never going to cheat on me. It's only, that's why you separated us, because you knew, yeah, if, if Ivan's with his new and other, they're, they're inseparable. She'll never cheat on me as long as she's with me. And I'll never cheat on her as long as I'm with her. Well, no. I'm the exception. Even when I'm far, even when I'm separate from her, I can easily not cheat on her. But my sin other is not me. Whereby when she's separate from me, she's a, she's a cheating whore, she's a bitch, and she cheats on me all the time. Whereas me, I can actually be long distance away from her and not cheat. Because I'm very strong, I'm very loyal, I'm a loyal man, I'm a good man. But the only reason why I'm going for my girlfriend is because my sin other is starting to really piss me off. She takes me for granted, and that's why I'm going to get my first girlfriend. I'm not doing it to rub in her face, I'm doing it for me. I want to experience the moments that she experienced, it's fair. If you're demonized and throwing my girlfriend all these thoughts, tough. You too, you fucking hypocrite. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to go outside and have a smoke. I'll be back in a sec, guys. I don't even say that. In the next video, I'll show you pictures and that kind of stuff. Yeah. I'll be back in a sec, guys. I don't even say Skip the video if you don't want to wait. Skip the I'll have one smoke instead of two. Skip the video we don't wait, guys. I'm gonna go outside and have a smoke. <clears throat> we back in a sec. Don't hate me. Some sir.
I didn't want to smoke two smokes because I, I don't, I hate it when I make a video. I go out and have a smoke and you guys end up waiting like, by the time I come back, this part's done. That's why I decided to just have one smoke. Let me show you that picture again of me at 94. Open up this bad boy. Me at 194. I have a mayor at 194. This is me at 194, guys. Yeah. Fucking handsome, huh? This is a look when I'm king, obviously. I have a full grown beard. But the look I have now is like this picture here, except I don't have a full-grown beard. I don't have glowing beauty, the glowing eyes, the glowing skin, the glowing hair. Um, and the full-grown beard, but I still look handsome like this, except without those perks, obviously genetic perks. This is me on my four guys. Oh my god, the pop-ups. That's me on my four guys. Can you see the redhead and the Denny's chick rejecting me looking like that? I don't think so, man. But they might still reject me. I don't know. Me at 194. Look at that. See that? Yeah, that's me at 194. Fucking handsome. Why, well, I mean, please make videos for us, videos for us when, when you're king. No, I'm not making videos for you when I'm king, man. You get what you deserve. You pay a price to it. How it works. The only way I'll put, put, I'll make videos for you is if you put my stats on, which you're, which you're not gonna do because I didn't sell. Because the gates are green pigs, obviously. Yeah, right, if you want us to put your stats on, you have to sell to us. But there's a catch. If I sell to you, you're gonna take all my money. You're gonna dupe me, and you're gonna give me maybe five hundred thousand views, a million views. When in reality, the whole world's tuning into my channel. You know how rich I would be just off my YouTube channel right now? I'd be worth I'd be worth millions, tens of millions, man, hundreds of millions, just just from my YouTube channel. I'd have the biggest YouTube following on YouTube. My channel will blow would blow Star Wars theory, John Campia's, Rob May Burnett, um, PewDiePie. Rabbit would blow the channels out of the water. I'd, I'd have like, I don't know, like two billion subscribers, a billion subscribers. And I'd be getting what, like a billion views, two billion views. The main people who watch my videos are the English speaking world. Because the foreign world, they don't understand English, most of them. You're looking at like a billion plus views, man. That's yeah, crazy. Hence why, what? When they lock the doors, man, I can't make any money. Hence why. Enjoy these sabotage reels while it's okay, because one more thing I'm not making reels for you, man. You maybe pay a price, you're gonna pay too, that's how it works. You pay too, man, that's how it works. I know you guys are crazy people, you want your full cake. Yeah, I'm not gonna let you get your full cake. I'm not gonna let you win the game. I'm gonna win the game when I'm king. I'm taking my money, I'm taking my sin other, and I'm piecing the fuck out, and you're left behind. But I wish you guys the best, because I'm a nice guy, and I'm a good man. You know you guys are wicked people, and you're messing I made. We wish you the best, me and my sister. We wish you guys the best. I hope you live a, um, a long and prosperous life. You know what I'm saying? You find all your dreams. You find a man of your dreams. Um, you, uh, you raise a good family. You know what I'm saying? I wish, uh, I wish the best for your finances. Hopefully, you get a good job and you make your 100K or 80K. You know what I'm saying? To all you young guys? Yeah. Don't hate him. So, yeah. I wish you the best. So, i That's why my sin and other will be demonized. Fuck you, Ivan. How can you use me? You're such a fucking dick. I'm like, you too, you fucking hypocrite. You're fucking crazy, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, you're looking at a crazy feud <laughs> with my girlfriend and my sin and other. You're fucking crazy, yeah. She won't, she's gonna be hell. She won't leave me alone. I'm, I'm gonna ignore you, man. You're selfish and you're a hypocrite, sir. I'm not gonna do like that. Eleven twelve PM. 
getting late. Shut my camera for guys.